channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content that we put out. Now, if you get to the end of this video and you want to schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call to chat with me and about your business, then you can do that. Visit the description of this video. You can book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me where we jump on Zoom. I can ask you some questions with regards to your business, see where you're at, see where you want to get to. And I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale your training business. So today I want to share with you a, a question I get asked on a regular basis when coaches are looking to set up player evaluations for their clients. So what a player evaluation is, is essentially when a prospect contacts you either through your website or they call you directly and they're interested in their child joining your program. Now, what we do at our company is we teach coaches how to set up uh, proper systems where they are getting on sales calls with, with parents and they're inviting the client or the prospect to an evaluation evaluation session. Now, once that evaluation session is then complete, then what we do is we teach coaches how to close that client into the program if they are a right fit for the program. So something coaches ask me quite often, actually, they ask me, what should I focus on when I provide feedback to the client or upon the, the evaluation session, right? So what are a couple of areas that I should be looking at when it comes to doing the, the evaluation? And, and then once the evaluation is complete, what things should I focus on when I talk to the prospect or the future client about their child and how they did at the evaluation session? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down four things that I do with my business that has worked and also four things that when I work with coaches, predominantly in soccer, right? But this can work in any sport. These are four areas that coaches should focus on, right? So number one is the technical side of the game. So when, when a prospect or a potential client comes to your evaluation session, whether it be for one-on-one -on -one training, whether it be for a, a small groups, okay? What we wanna do is we wanna focus on the technical side of how they did during that session. So how was their first touch? How was their dribbling? How was their shooting? Okay, and we wanna try and find areas of improvement within the technical side that then we can provide feedback to the parent. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to only be areas of improvement. It can also be areas that they have shown um, strengths in. So technically, if they had a really good touch, then that's something we can provide feedback on. Okay? If their heading is really good, then we can provide feedback. If they're striking, if they're finishing, okay, if they want 1v1 play, is really good, then we can provide that. But what we wanna do is we wanna focus on the technical side so we can provide technical feedback back to the um, the potential future client. So second one is physical, right? How In terms of the physicality of, of the player, of the future client that we are inviting to an evaluation session, how are they doing physically? So when I talk about physically is how is their conditioning like? Do they get tired easily? Um, are they strong in in one-on-ones? In one uh, what about in 50-50 situations against other players? Okay, How did they do physically against other players? Or just in general, how did they do during the session? Did they tire? Do you feel that they're out of shape? Do they need more conditioning do they need more strength work okay so how are they physically to you and that's an area we can then provide feedback on all right so we've got the technical side of the game right how they how they did technically during the session then we can look at the physical side how they did physically 
right, against other players. If so if it's a small group evaluation session and you've got other kids in that group who are physically bigger, how did they compete against those kids? So these are areas that you can focus on and provide feedback back to the parent on their child. Right now, social, when I talk about social, this would be anything to do with how they communicated with other players or how they communicated with the coach. So if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation, right, the social side would be how did they feel around you? Did they ask questions? Did they pay attention? Right? Did they follow instructions? Okay, did they did they participate in everything you were doing? Right? Did they give a hundred percent? Right. So that's pretty much like the social aspect of the evaluation session, right? How did they communicate with you? If it's a small group uh, training session, how did they fit in with the rest of the group? Did they get on with everyone else? Did they talk to their, their other teammates? Right? How did they feel being around the, the other players? Okay. So focusing on the, on the social side is pretty much looking at a player from the perspective of how are they doing in terms of communication with either yourself, if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation, or in a group with other players who are already part of your, your training program. Okay. Now, the fourth one is psychological. So this is pretty much the mental side of the game. So how did they cope with the mental side? So again, this could be how did they pay attention to your instructions? How did they uh, react when they struggled with one part of the activity? Okay. Also, if they struggled on one part of the activity, how did they recover from it, right? Did they just give up very easily? Did they keep going? Okay, were they determined during the session? Did they look to improve? Okay, so essentially this is the areas where you wanna focus on the, the mental side and you can provide feedback to the parent how they did, right? So how, how was their effort level? How was their reactions? Okay, did they find solutions to the problems by themselves or did they depend on you solely as, as the coach to figure the problems out for them? Okay, so these are four very simple uh, feedback areas that you can focus on when you do your player evaluation sessions. Okay, I get asked on a regular basis on this, okay, what, what things to focus on, how should I provide feedback back to my um potential client so these are a couple of things and areas that you can focus on that will really help you and it will also provide you with a better professional service so when you get back on the call with mrs jones who's already brought their child to an evaluation session then you can focus on all four of these areas or you can focus on maybe two so you might provide feedback on the technical side of the game and the social, or you might decide to go, right, I'm only gonna do the physical and the psychological, okay? So hopefully this helps, if it does, right? And if you need more help with this, then as I mentioned at the start of the video, you can schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call with me where I can break this down for you and I can help you to implement it into your training business, right? So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.